قال انني من المسلمين Like and we also got called huh? that during the verbal excuse somebody brandished the firearm. Oh no, that's not true the at all. The description that we gave was you fit to the T. The really? What kind of a dog is he? He's a fudge bulldog. He looks expensive. A fudge bulldog? He's a French bulldog. Oh, French bulldog, nice. He's a, he's a Frenchy fluffy. <laughs> Mind if I pet him or? Oh, absolutely. All right. Well, I don't want to. Worry. Right. Well, put your hands a little lower. Don't put. Gotcha. Go under. Oh yeah. Yeah, you scare him when you put your hand over. Ah. <laughs> He's cute. That's cool. So, uh, what do you know about Islam? Uh, unfortunately, not much. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you real quick. In Islam, we believe there's only one God, right? We don't believe to worship prophets. We don't worship Jesus. We don't worship Muhammad. Peace be upon them. We love them. We believe they're prophets of God, but we don't believe they are gods, right? We don't believe saints should be worshipped. We don't believe Mary should be worshipped. We believe that only the Creator above should be worshipped. What do you think about that? That makes absolutely sense. Make, there you go, man. There you go. That makes sense. We believe that God sent us prophets, right? For example, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon them. Like, we love them all. We don't disrespect any of them. If I was alive in the time of Moses, I'd follow Moses. If I was in the time of Jesus, I'd follow Jesus. I'm, I'm alive in the time of Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon all of them, I follow him, right? But we believe they all brought the same message, one message, which is you worship the one creator, you don't worship the creation, just like the Ten Commandments, right? right. Don't kill, don't steal, don't worship idols, we believe that, right? What happened is religion started to corrupt the message, right? Like Moses, he brought a beautiful message. They started to corrupt it, so Jesus had to come and correct them, right? Like, yo, you guys are messing up in the temples and all that. That's not the true message. Worshiping the wrong gods. There you go. Symbolism. You, you, you know this. You know this. That's it, man. You on it, bro. So, my experience, and uh, and again, my experience is based on me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what I do know. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, if if you're I, and I was saying this before. Yeah, yeah. Everything has a beginning. Right. That's that's. Except for God. Except for God. Right. <laughs> well, my point is, yeah. everything has a beginning, right? Right. But we don't know what that beginning is, and obviously, that one thing where we started from mm -hmm. is in itself as God, because it is a creation. It did. It started everything. Listen to you, man. Relax. Experience. Yeah. And you, the same way you said that the Bibles and certain books, right. they've turned religion, which is basically be a positive message, right, which you should be spreading, right, and to to benefit. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Like the Pope and all that, right? <laughs> you feel me? Any priest you see on TV? Exactly. Any, all those Christian preachers any, trying to make money off Patreon. I've yet. LGT. Illogical, they, they, God logic. All things just to confuse us and take us away from the truth. Exactly. But my thing is, I don't know anybody or I don't know any other way to find out the true message until one day I pass away and I move on to the next. I do believe there is, right. we're all made of energy. Energy doesn't stop, it gets captured, but then once it gets released, it goes in another direction. True. We're all made from energy. That's my belief. So, I like, but. Well, but where did energy, energy has come a from? source. But where did it come from? Exactly. Every there you energy go. has a source. Everything has a, a point right. to return. Yeah. So let me let me ask you a question though. I don't think and, and this is yeah, the go ahead. point thing that I'm trying to get out of. Right, right. I'm just rambling. No one has lived, no one has died and then came back and lived and told us. I'll the tell whole you. Jesus thing. I believe in something happened and that's fine, he passed right. away. He didn't. We don't believe that he died and resurrected either. So I, I don't believe it in that. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. So let, let me ask you something though. Let's take it back a step, well, right? They, they, nobody has nobody has met their maker. Well, let me let me ask you a question first. Well, let, nobody has met their maker. No one here has. Passed. There, there's a beginning. There you go. Hands down. So so no no so because something cannot come from nothing, as we agreed, right? Yes. That means something had to have always been there. Because if there was a beginning for that thing, then that means before it there was nothing, and it came from nothing. So we would agree that the Creator, as we know from the Qur'an, as we know from the Hadith, yes. that Allah, whether you call Him the most merciful, whatever name you may call Him from, but the Creator has always been there. Correct. Right? And, yes. he, and we are creation, so we have a beginning 
and we have an end. If you create something new, like let's say, like you know, like right now people got Samsungs and Apples and I don't know if people got Nokias anymore, but right? But uh, maybe you're broke or something, right? No offense to Nokia, right? But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, let's say you come with a new kind of phone. Nobody's ever seen it. It's amazing. You know what? You can't just Uber Eats or Postmates. You can click it and food will pop out. Right? Okay. You're an inventor, you're that smart, right? right? But you know that if you leave it in the sun, it's gonna blow up. Correct. And then I'm gonna get blamed for it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> right? So now the point there being that phone, you know best because you created it. You designed it, right? Right. So are you just gonna be like, hey bro, go ahead, do whatever you want? Or are you gonna be like, no, no, I'm gonna warn you that if you leave this in the sun, it's gonna blow up. Yeah. If you wanna take care of it, you're you're gonna give some instructions, right? Does that make sense to you? Absolutely. Right? I believe. Uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, don't get ahead of me. Yes, yes, yes. We're with you. We're on the same page. So now, you would give an instruction manual. Have you heard about a laptop or a, or a microwave, right? Always comes with a little instruction manual. Correct. Warnings, right? Correct. Like I work in the med device industry. We cannot sell a medical device without an IFU, instruction for use, that has warnings. And we have to use pictures like electricity warning, emission warning, right? Gotcha. Right? So that is absolutely logical to you, right? Okay, so now the great creator is more intelligent than us. Do you think he'd create us and then just leave us with no guidance? Without an instruction manual, like nothing? Think about it, relax. Uh, and I'm not. Uh, okay, let's move a little bit so we can let people walk by. Yeah. And I, I, absolutely, he has. Good, good, we're on the, the reason, same page. And the reason he has is because when you're born, you're born with a natural instinct. Sure. Right? We believe in that. See, that's Islamic call, belief. We that's call that the fitrah. Right? Okay. So, so, so you have that natural instinct. We so do. something embedded that in you, free you getting here. Exactly. Agreed. And again, I'm not saying that it, I'm agreeing with you. Absolutely. My thing is this. How do you know? Yeah, go ahead. It's a simple question. I got you. How do you know that this... I got it. It's the right instruction. Manual. Perfect. So now, because there's a lot of instruction. I got you. Out. Exactly. I got you, bro. Relax. We got it. Okay. So check this out, right? <laughs> we, we, trust me, we're on the same page, right? So think of. Okay. Well, but I'm taking you step by step, right? right. So we we agree that the creator's always been there. We agree the creator created us. We're creation. He's the creator, right? Yes. We agree that that creator sent us messages and guidance because that's what makes sense. That God would give us some kind of instructions how to live, what to do, what not to do, Correct. what things will harm us, just like something you would invent, right? right? But now the question is: Is the Bible the words of God? Is the Gita? Is the Mahabharat? Is the Talmud? Is the Torah? Is the New Testament? You know. You know, the, the book of Satan or, you know, the satanic Bible. What's the true word of God, right? Now, would you agree that the word of God will be perfect? If it's understood, the word itself is God, yes, is perfect. Okay, good. Absolutely. It could be misunderstood. I, I, I got you. I'm with say, you. I'm with you. you. People, people have their interpretations. Leave that out. But the word itself has to be perfect, right? right. So this is a Bible. Yes. Right? This is uh, King James, New King James, Holy Bible, Gideon's, not something special that I got from like my basement or anything like that, right? So here you have, therefore, Mishal, the daughter of Saul, had no children to the day that, of her death. Okay. Right? Did she have any kids? No. Until she died? Yes. All right, good. In the same Bible, just a few chapters later, and the five sons of Mishal, the daughter of Saul. How can a woman have five sons? When it just said. <laughs> you see, right? So no, no, no. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're, we're not done. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna make it that your heart's gonna be content, inshallah, by the will of God, right? Jehoiachin was 18 years old when he became king, and reigned in Jerusalem for three months. Okay. Right? right. Am I reading it right? Yes, you are. All right. Good. In the same Bible. <laughs> Second Chronicles, Jehoiachin was eight years old when he became king and reigned in Jerusalem for three months. Can you be eight and eighteen at the same time? Nope. <laughs> right? But isn't that now, the same thing they did with Muhammad, where you can read different Bibles and they'll place them in different parts of exactly the world? Exactly not. That's the beautiful thing, right? Dang, That's we don't the, have that. No. So we have one Quran. Like you know how you have the Catholic Bible? That's different from the Protestant Bible, that's different, different from the Ethiopian other. Bible, that's different from the Greek Orthodox Bible, that's different from the Russian Orthodox Bible, that's different from the Jehovah's Witness New World Translation, that is different from the original uh, manuscripts from Codex Sinaiticus, which had chapters that are not in the King James 1611, all of that, we have one Quran. 
Uh, uh, let's do a test, all right? Pick a brother, any one of these brothers here. Anyone you like. Jake, you're, you're the winner, right? <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you in your ear how many chapters in the Quran, what's the first chapter, and what's the last chapter. And then you're going to test him to see if we give the same answer. All right? Okay. We're doing a practical exper experiment right now, all right? Don't worry, all right? I'm going to cut the back. 14 chapters. Beginning with the Surah Al Fatiha. Ends with Nas. Okay. Go ahead. Ask him. How many chapters in the Quran? 114. Beginning with Al Fatiha. Ending with Al Nas. You feel me? He's white. <laughs> He's from the East Coast. I'm from the West Coast. He's a revert. He became Muslim. Wasn't born in a Muslim family. I come from a Pashtun family. Different parts. Now let's let's just let's just continue to show you that it wasn't just something me and him. Pick another one of these brothers. Anyone you want. I mean, go sitting down. I get that part. You get me, okay? So what does that mean? That unlike the Catholic Bible that has a book of Tobit, and this one Protestant doesn't. 88 books in the Ethiopian Bible that are not in the King James Version. Right. We don't have that problem. We only have one Quran. And nowhere in the Quran is there a contradiction. 100%. I've been saying this on camera, on YouTube. Till today, nobody's brought a contradiction. This is a book that's perfect. There is no doubt. La Rayba Thihi. There is no doubt in it. Right? Okay. Now, I want you to read it. I don't want you to take my word. Yeah. yeah oh, we're, we're with it. We're with it. Right? But think about this. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he couldn't read or write. Okay. That, that's a fact. Every historian, go home, check Karen Armstrong, non-Muslim. You can get, you know, uh, so Ibn Ishaq from, you know, the any... The greatest people that produce, that has the, the greatest contributions to this world, right? can read or write. So the Prophet Muhammad couldn't read or write, right? The Quran was such a linguistic miracle. The Arabic language was so beautiful, the poets couldn't respond to it, right? The Quran, let me show you something, right? Where's my... Uh, What's that, Bible? No, no. Hold up real quick. Let me just... Right. You can look this up in the one that you have too, right? Uh, Where are you from, by the way, bro? You from around this area? Originally or...? Uh, originally, yeah. Well, I live here now because I got divorced, but mm -hmm. well, I was born and raised in Jersey and my parents were from Puerto Rico. Oh, okay. Cool. In the 21st chapter, it's called the Anbiya, which is the Prophets. In the 33rd verse, it says that, And he who has created the day and the night, the sun and the moon, each traveling in an orbit. Okay. So the fact that the sun has an orbit, not just the moon, but the sun has an orbit, wasn't known to recently. Because the sun, you can't absorb the orbit, right? It's such a slow-moving orbit that till very recently, when we were able to get all these telescopes, we didn't know that, right? But think about how can a man in... 6th century Arabia, who was not around the Greek or Roman or philosophy, how could he know that, right? In the 23rd chapter called Mu'minun, the believers, right? In the 13th verse, and it says, Then place each human sperm drop in a secure place in the womb. And then we developed a drop into a clinging clot of blood. And then developed the clot into a lump of flesh. Then developed the lump into bones and then clothed the bones with flesh so bones first then flesh and then we brought it into being as a new creation that development of the embryo in the womb could not have been known the fact that there's bones and then the flesh comes around could not have been known by a man in the sixth century in Arabian Peninsula who couldn't read or write right I got you on this right we're gonna make you content that this is the true message in the 25th chapter, 53rd verse, and it is he who has merged the two bodies of water, one fresh and palatable, and the other salty and bitter, and placed between them a barrier they cannot cross. The fact that salt water and sea water come together, they touch, but they don't mix, was not known by the Arabian of that time, because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, never went to where there's salt water. What he was around okay. was all sweet water, right? Now, so my question is, how would he know? Exactly. You wouldn't know. That is the question, God. right? That's so we point. believe that this is not the words of Muhammad. He couldn't even write, right? Right? This is an inspiration from the same Creator that inspired Jesus and Moses on how to live. There was only one message. Moses, Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad brought one message. One God. Don't worship idols. But what happened is people corrupted it. 
right? They got the Pope involved. Where's the Pope in the Bible? They got, have you seen Christmas? Right? Christmas is a satanic fucking witch. Yeah. Man, look at you. You're, you. you're Muslim already, man. You're there. So, but think about that. Every church does Christmas. Right? I used to go to church as a young guy. You know, quinceaneras and all that. Yeah. Everybody had church. Everybody had Christmas. Santa Claus and pagan trees and yeah. pagan festivals. Yeah, and none of that, man. Same thing with Easter. Thing with Easter. Easter. Exactly. Easter. 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 It's, 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 it's a pagan... Them. That was uh, from the mating season. Exactly. They used to rape women in Easter, which Children was pre... Yeah, exactly. and they used to paint them, and that's why they're hiding the eggs and all of that. So you know that already. So your mind's already open. So now you tell me, we as Muslims believe in only one God. We believe that God sent Prophet. That God sent this message that I want you to read, and it is perfect. No mistakes, no contradictions, scientific well, facts that could not have been known. Without a book, this is why I believe there's a God. I believe too. That's the fit. We've been into areas that books weren't even created. Never spoke English. Yeah. But no matter where you went to, in whatever time, everyone would pray to the skies. Mm. So, so see, we as Muslims, exactly. that's so, the Muslim belief that God is above. See, we they believe. Always pray to the skies. See, before there was word, let me go now into an indigenous country, exactly. find a country that never seen us. Exactly. Right. You're talking exactly. just like a Muslim. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but think, but, but, but again, Islam, but Islam again, didn't start with this one. My question is, yeah. how, does it mean? how do you know? Right. It, it, see, that, that, that's that, what I'm that's saying. Only a man well, well. in the desert, he could not read or write, could not have produced this. Scientifically impossible. Right? If you were to guess, you would get it wrong sometimes. Uh, right? More than, more than but, well, when you have so many, and I've only read a few for you right now, right? So many things that could not have been known by him that are in the Quran, prophecies about the Romans and Persians and who would win. And not just that, there is, and, and I know it's going to sound crazy when I say it, that's why I've made a video with all the evidence I'll give it to you, right? The people asked him, How do we know you're a true prophet? He said, Okay, what do you want? He said, Show us a sign. So, what do you want to see? He said, Split the moon, bring it together, right? Now, can you do that? Absolutely not, right? Historically proven, 100% better than any history that you talk about pre-video recordings, right? Yeah. Is that he said, I will ask Allah, the creator, and the moon split and came back together. Today, and I have a video where I scan and showed NASA videos, they, NASA says that there are cracks across the surface of the moon. Now, NASA's not going to say when it happened and how it happened. That's not their job. They just observe and report, right? Now, why do we have cracks? They said, well, maybe they're lava tunnels, but there's no lava on the moon, right? And they go, and there's two sides to the moon, right? Which are different. So even NASA said it's possible that there were two at a time and came together. Like some of the moons of Saturn, they, they merged together, right? Here you have some scientific signs that we cannot explain. Now, when we go in history, we have eyewitness accounts, not just from the followers of the Prophet, peace be upon him, but from the enemies of the Prophet. Like if me and you were battling, right? And I showed you a miracle, you're going to be like, nah, that never happened, right? Unless you really couldn't deny it. Then be like, yeah, man, that, that did happen, right? Right? So even the enemies of the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, yeah, the moon split. And we saw Abu Sufyan, was not Muslim at the time. He said, we saw it. Abu Jahl, Abu Lahab, who never became Muslim. They said, yeah, we saw it. The Bedouin tribes outside said, we saw it. Anas ibn Malik, he's a companion, he was in Medina, a different city. He said, I saw it, right? Even there are historic reports that don't catch up to our any, uh, harsh checking and hadith. Like we, we have a very strong method that we use for verifying historic reports. Okay. But oral traditions and written traditions from India say that even a king in India saw it, right? And he built a mosque later and still standing and so on and so on, right? So if we have that much evidence showing that the moon was split and brought together to show a true miracle, right? And you have a book from a man who couldn't read or write, but it was such a literal miracle in, in, in the language of it that none of the poets could respond. And it had things that science didn't even know about, things that he could not have observed with his eye, development of the fetus and so on, right? That all shows us that this is a true messenger. Right? And then what happened with the Bible, as you know, it got changed, right? The true message was in Aramaic, but then the earliest scriptures were in Kone Greek, and then you, like you said, they have so many different ones. Translations, yeah. But we don't, even till today, we recite it in the original Arabic language. Right? Not, none of us are Arab here. Right? None of us anyway, maybe some of those brothers, right? But we all know the Quran in Arabic. Right? To preserve it, 
That was the true message. That makes sense to you? It does. Now, it sense. the belief in Islam is that everybody is born with fitrah. Everybody is born with a natural inclination towards right and wrong. Do you believe that? Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. uh, now, talking. people corrupt that, right? So you, it's nature versus, nature versus nurture. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, nature. Fitra is good. Nurture, somebody makes him a Jew, somebody makes him a Christian, somebody says, worship that idol, worship the blue guy, worship the monkey, worship the cow, worship the snake, worship the rat. So that's where this comes into play. To help you with your original state by giving you, no, God is only one. No, 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 these idols aren't God, right? Don't let that nurture take you away from your nature. Right, does that make sense? Absolutely. So Muslim belief is we believe in only one God. Do you think that makes sense? Well, there, there is only one God because there's always there's only one beginning. Excellent. We believe that God has always been there and all of us are a creation of God. Does that make sense? Absolutely. All right. We believe that God gave us a natural inclination called fitrah towards right and wrong. Yes. Okay. We believe that God sent prophets to guide people to make sure the nurture doesn't get people misguided and with messages and they send the same message which was again one God, don't kill, don't steal, don't harm. Does that make sense? It makes sense. It does. Okay, it good. Does. good. But again, when we talk nature versus nurture, okay, when you receive God, right, as you're going to interpret that along with your experiences in life, that's right. how you're going to set that forward. But if you think about it, on what you believe about God, when He introduces Himself, right? In the Quran, let's do this together, right? Let's open the, if you go to the back. So, and to be honest, we believe in Adam and Eve, the beginning yes. of two people? Yeah, we do. Yeah. Okay. And to, for you, you have been saying many things that are in agreement with Islam and the Quran and and you've never read it. So even with your all of your experiences, your innate nature is still intact enough that you're saying all of these things that right. Islam. So this is a chapter called Ikhlas, right? Right? We're gonna read the English together, all right? Okay. Say and he tells the Prophet peace be upon him, he is God. He is, God. He is one, indivisible, right? Yes. God, the sustainer, needed by all. He has never had an offspring, nor was he born. And there is nothing comparable to him. Does that make sense that to you? Absolutely makes sense to God. Right? Yes. So now what is this here? This is confirming what you had in your heart. And this is keeping you from the nurture of people saying, no, God isn't one, he's three. No, God's a monkey. No, no, God's got a son. No, God's, that's father, that's a son, that's the Holy Ghost, that's Mary. See, all that, this is what protects you. Right? Keeps you on that right path. And because it makes sense with your nurture, don't you think this is from God? Isn't this the message you believe is from God? It makes sense. That's it, bro. But I always believed it was, it was always one source. Excellent, again. excellent. I've always but now, believed that. The question is... Mm -hmm. all right, I'm going to give an example. Go Me and you walk into a movie theater. Right. We see the exact same movie. True. Them, right? True. When we come run into this right you're excellent to him, right i'm gonna talk to him and you're gonna when remember something else about that movie yeah the same the same the same parts that impacted you right and that you feel you're gonna tell him those those important parts right aren't gonna be necessarily the same 100 the same parts that i'm gonna speak to 100 I same movie yeah in in theory in major yes we are telling the same story right but we're gonna tell it our way 100 percent right but when we have a disagreement like let's say you go you know what the actor he was wearing a blue shirt right and i'm like no no it was green right well we go back to the source right we'll go back and say that's it's checkable it's checkable, checkable. Yes. that's why you have the revelation see this is you, you've made exactly the point we all had our own inner fitra but when we would go to the right and left and then you would come back and be like you know what where is the right message? If his interpretation and my interpretation clash, then we go back to the source. And we say, look, what does Allah say about himself? So if he comes out and goes, no, nah, I think God is three. And I go, no, nah, God is five, right? Then the Quran comes back and tells him, no, God is only one. You feel me? Does that make sense?
Have a wonderful day. Um, so what do you think? I'm going to read it. I'm going to read, gonna it. read it. I'm going to sit down and I'm going to reach out to both of you. We're Excellent. We're going to have this conversation again. Excellent. Excellent. I'm going to hit you with different questions. Like, Anytime. Hit us with whatever you like. Okay. I'm from San Diego. I actually, right? when I was younger, when I was in school, I had a friend that was a Muslim. Mm. And I asked him, can I read his Quran? And he told me no. Really? He told me this is, a, this is something that you should be taking a little serious. No, you I, I, I think you're and he was like yeah, No take it. I think you're I taking like, oh, it wait a minute. This is my whole experience was if you're not Muslim you should not be reading the Quran. Uh, I think I think you're taking it very that's, serious, that's, man. That's how I took it. Right. That's that's how it was presented to me. Nice. Really? That's that's my life. That's my exactly. That was my move. Well I think that's I think you uh, you handed me the bill, I'm like, is he really gonna give me the bill? No, no. This is free, it's a gift. And we as Muslims believe in sharing the message. We don't believe that, you know, people shouldn't get the message. It's, you, you're serious about it? You, I, I know a few Muslims in my right. life. I've come across people. Yeah. And I've come across a lot of different generations came from who I am from. Right. I work in New York, so I deal with a lot of different I feel you. I've yet to have a situation where me and a Muslim hmm. Have not connected. You know what I mean? Like this, you see, Allah, Allah, Allah has got it there for you, right? Like, this guy's. Yeah. And I've been around, and it's just I, from what I know. And listen, whatever, whatever as a person mm. makes you feel better in the morning, whatever gets you vibe. See, I'm. I'm with that, but I, but I'll I'm tell you like, this. Listen, whatever. If somebody gets by thinking two plus two is five. So, I'm going to have to break it to him, right? <laughs> like, I'm going to have to be like, look, it may make you feel good, but just to be honest, it's four, right? Yeah, so, people, you feel me? People doing drugs but make some people, feel good. It's I not, feel you. You know, some people, that you know, that's okay, you know. Be, right. Some people, you, you're talking about everything they grew up on, everything. I know, everything I know. Look, know, look, basically look, look it's know. so true. Sometimes you grow, and I'll tell you, give you an example. I had a friend, he's from Nepal, right? I met him in the UAE. And he was raised thinking that there's a God on the side of one mountain and there's another God on the side of the other mountain. And the sun throws, the, the one of the God throws the sun to the other, like a, like a baseball, a basketball. He catches it and then he underhands it and then he catches it and he throws it again. Right? That's what he was raised by. He believed it 100% as a kid. When he was in his early teens, he went up to the mountain and he saw there's no God there. Right? Nobody's throwing the ball. Right? So it broke his heart. But later, when he came to the UAE and stuff, long story, he learned about Islam and he learned it's the truth. He became happy because now, even what he was taught that was wrong was corrected and he had the true belief. So a lot of people are raised with a belief that unfortunately is incorrect. But that's the sad thing. The reality is there is only one God and you know that. So if somebody says God is three, that's just wrong. I'm sorry. Just like two plus two is not five. They can feel that, but that's not reality. Just like that, if when you three, believe... If there was three of them, it wouldn't be God. Exactly. Hey, that can't make much. Sure. Yeah, no problem. We'll let go. Uh, well, well, I'll tell you what. Great talking to you. You've got the belief. I'll tell you what. You have the belief? I'll, I'll talk to him. Just give me one second, yeah? All right. So, we just want to say, we just want to say something very important, right? You've got the belief, you're there. We believe that, that God has brought you here for the purpose. Don't wait too long. Read, be clear, but at the same time, this is an opportunity. You don't know how long life is. And the purpose of this life is to recognize your Creator. This, what you're doing, is the most important thing you could do. So connect with the brother. I mean, if it's God's will, it's God's will, ain't it? That's it, that's it, brother. You got this, man. Hey, that. Alhamdulillah. Yusuf Dasha Rawa. How are you doing? How are you? Let, let, let me just talk to them if you guys back up, back up. Do have a body cams on? Yeah, All right, cool. Well, we got a camera as well, so. That's cool. fine. How are you doing? Let's do a shout out. It's our uh, friendly police officer from Jersey or New York? Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. Sorry, man. I don't want to offend you. I'm from the West Coast. I'm San Diego, bro. I don't, I don't know. Good to meet you. My name is Osman. Glad to meet you, Rob. How you doing, bro? Good to see you guys. So, who is Rob? My name is Osman. Osman? Yeah. So, Osman, I'm going to explain. Go for it. We got a call. Okay. Uh, that there was some sort of burglary going on. 
Santana? Some sort of verbal dispute going on. Like an and we also got no. called that during the verbal dispute, somebody brandished the firearm. Oh, no, that's not true the at all. The description that we gave was, you fit to the T. The really? I'm a good looking guy. They must have. Right. <laughs> We've been watching you guys. Yeah. There's way too many people out here. Gotcha. Well, we I mean, we, no, no, we, not to leave. Not to leave. Way people for you to pull out a gun. Oh, okay, okay. Somebody else to call. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, no, you guys can stay. You guys, you guys can stay. You guys are not doing anything wrong. We appreciate we're that. We just, obviously, we're doing our job. We're right. check. We've been watching you guys. Everything seems peaceful. Yeah. We're okay with that. You guys need anything from us, reach out to us, okay, nah. man? You're the I man, bro. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Did anybody come here and, like, say something to nah. you while you guys were here? Like, nah, nah. We, you know, You know what I'm trying to right. say, right? Yeah. Nobody was, was trying anybody to have anything? Profile. Is anybody right. trying to, like, anybody? Anybody? antagonize you at all? No. Right. Okay. Nah, it's been a great right. day. Well, we're going to be wrapping up anyway because we got to go to a conference. Stay, right? Good luck. 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 Good we're not doing anything wrong. And the police was very nice. They, didn't, they said you're doing nothing wrong. But somebody made a phone call saying that there was a verbal confrontation and somebody fitting my description. And I'm, I can only assume they said a really handsome guy in a cool hat. What do you mean, man? In, in, in a stylish, custom-made thobe, pulled out a weapon, and I was brandishing a weapon. Yeah, that's what they said, right? And the only weapon I got is my Iman right now, man. I, they got me on a wrong day. <laughs> so, so Alhamdulillah, we have no problems. The police said we have no problems. But this just shows you how the haters are. When they can't debate with us, when they can't, when they see people taking shahada, alhamdulillah, we've already had two, almost a third one right now. When they see this, they make false accusations like they did against us in San Diego. They make false videos. They call the police. Why? Because they want to stop the da'wah with their lies. But the da'wah is not going to stop. You see the police, they didn't even stop us. We're going to continue, inshallah. Allahu Akbar. Allah.